Hey everyone, so, wow, hey everyone, yikes. <laughs> Big news, my friend came from Los Angeles to direct a commercial here and he was like, do you want to be an extra in the commercial? And I was like, no, no, I don't want to actually. Since I turned it down, I guess you could say I'm a pretty big deal now. In reality, I only turned it down because I knew that I couldn't wake up and the call time was 9 a.m. But hey, I'm turning down commercials now. What are you doing? I'm waiting for a bigger part in reality. I want to be like this. Yes, I want to be behind the scenes attached to a bunch of doodads flying and then I want them to CGI stuff onto me. And I'm not gonna lie, if I was Angelina Jolie in Maleficent, I would sneak a fart into the take. Like a part where you're flying and then you land and then you have to say something. I did a bunch of beans the day before and it'd be just like this. <laughs> This is big Disney movies behind the scenes. I love watching this stuff. This is by Insider and I just can't wait. I can't wait to watch it with you. Oh. Disney has been able to bring everything from the Pride Lands to Agrabah into the real world. Yeah, we get it. Quit wasting our watch time. <gasps> okay, here we go. Actress Liu Yifei trained for three months. Oh, I still need to see Mulan. Where you can see her preparing for one of the movie's epic sword fights. Here's what I don't get. How would you not feel kind of cringe when you're doing these fights and you're doing all your own stunts. I mean, I guess in this particular movie, like there's a lot of sets and they're actually riding horses outside. But like, imagine if it was a movie where it's just you and a green screen, like 300. Apparently they did 300 just completely behind the scenes. Like, look at this. Did he contour his abs? Oh, he contoured those abs for sure. Or he's just really rich. But like, imagine being like, this is Sparta. It's just like here. This is why I respect actors. So my friend Jimmy Wong was in Mulan and I've heard that Disney likes to hire from the inside. So I just wanted to let you know, Disney, I'm here. I was in Polaris primetime too. I have a tattoo, but you could cover it. Or maybe Walt Disney will be like, yeah, let's put that into the lore of Snow White. Yeah, I'd be Snow White by the way, because all the Asians are taken. I wanted to be Jasmine, but they casted somebody else. I think I'd be a good Snow White. Maybe it could be one of those like things where they're like, we're gonna like, put a 2020 spin on it. Like that'd be really cool. And then I could be Snow White. And then it could be like with teeth white as snow. Look at that tooth. I'd believe it. Wait a second. Jimmy Wong was in my video. Hey, Glow. It's me. Logically, that means that I don't just have an in with Disney. Disney has an in with me. So, you know, let me know. I can act. See, look, happy. Sad. <laughs> Lion face. Ah! Lemon face. Nailed it. Call me up, Disney. I deserve it. Oh, the jungle book. 70 different animal species created using groundbreaking CGI. See, this little kid, he's walking with all these animals that don't exist. I'm impressed by a lot of adult actors, but like this kid is just taking a stroll by himself, pretending to be talking to a tiger. It just doesn't make any sense. Like imagine, I've always loved you. What's the tiger's name again? Mine? Mowgli? No. Mowgli's the main guy. I've always loved you, Shere Khan. Oh, don't look at me like that. Hey. Hey, don't, don't shoot. There! I just killed your plant, Terry. I bought those for you. This is what I think would be kind of weird. Like imagine being at parties and being like, I starred in a Disney movie actually. Starred in it. Who were you? The Beast. But like in the Beast form. So like you don't really see me. We have really good news. What? You were cast in Disney's Beauty and the Beast as the Beast. Oh ah, God, everybody's gonna be so impressed. My mom is finally gonna be like, wow, you're not wasting your life. Exactly, <gasps> so we've got this outfit for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, I'll put it right on. Okay, I'm ready. No, we just gotta, just gotta go like this. There, perfect. Okay, action. I love you, Belle. Uh, no, to your right. Yeah. I love you. Bell. Putting hairs on the animals. Okay, I don't even want to think, like it gives me anxiety thinking about putting hairs on animals. Like they have to think about how hairs actually work in real life and like which direction they would be on a real wolf. And I just can't, 
These people try so hard. Oh, he's hugging a stuffed animal instead of the panther. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Why is there a guy in a green screen walking in the background? What's he doing? Is he, oh, he must be like talking to the kid so the kid can know what's going on. Oh my gosh, they're holding up so many stuffed animals. This kid is such a good actor and the hands too. It's like, get it, they're hamsters in the movie. Okay, you just got to imagine it, kid. Oh, the Lion King. The film was shot using virtual production, which allowed director John Favreau. Wasn't John Favreau like the guy who did that eating movie with the yeah, food. Chef. Oh my goodness, chef. He did Jungle Book 2? Oh, this guy's doing everything. He's eating food. He's playing with all the little birdies and all the little monkeys. So the thing I hated about this movie was what everybody else hated about it. I mean, I do think it's cool how like these guys, mandrills, they can't stand. So in the movie, they made him sit. Like I liked the realism, but I felt like there just wasn't enough emoting. Like this is literally a pig that's talking. Hey, look how unenthusiastic this is. This is a line that's supposed to be singing right now. He's just not making those expressions. It means no worries for the rest of your days. I guess, I'm an actual lion. I don't know what I'm doing here. Stop it, stop snorting, you're ruining the movie. The fact that they cut out Be Prepared from this movie made me hate it. I was mad, left early. It is really cool how they made it so like when they're talking, their diaphragms go, is it down or up that a diaphragm goes? But anyways, they lose air when they're talking, like which is cool and it's real, but they cut Be Prepared, so it's just not my kind of movie. And I wouldn't go see it again. Almost cried at the very intro when they like got the circle, oh, right? But other than that, I just can't. Lady and the Tramp. Okay, so all of the dogs in Lady and the Tramp were CG except for the stars and isn't this the cutest thing ever How, look, look at her she's sitting in her seat she's like where's my makeup lady where's my lemonade are you the makeup guy no then don't talk to me uh -oh. Oof. oh how cute oh. now apparently this iconic scene where they're like eating the spaghetti and meatballs was really really hard to get to the point where they had to replace the spaghetti <laughs> with licorice because the spaghetti kept falling apart I feel like they like shot it with like a big thing of spaghetti and meatballs, but in the actual thing, they were like, okay, we're just gonna put a really long noodle here. They're gonna eat them at the same time. We just gotta like hang it over each spot. Take 467, you idiot dogs. You have to do it this time. You have to. And the iconic kiss, it actually happened in real life. Just kidding, no, it didn't. That part, the kiss was CGI. But isn't that so cool? <laughs> is it the reaction commentary? Look how cool this is, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm texting while I'm filming. <laughs> Terry, set up the green screen. I'd like to show the audience how I would kiss Twinkie in a movie. His breath stank. Can't stand him. Where's my makeup? I don't have any. Where's my cheese plate? You woke up like this. It must have been nice to like not have to pay any actors. Well, actually, you probably had to pay the dog. Who gets paid when a dog is the star? Is it like Air Bud's owner that gets paid? Like what if it's a box office hit of like $230 million? If you raised the movie dog, do you get a cut of that? Really? Yeah. Get okay, ready. okay, so Twinkie, you have to act like you're gonna be an actor because if you get into the movies, then I'll get into the movies and we'll be okay. Oh, Sebastian, I've been thinking about you all this time. I'm a dog, by the way. Well, I guess it's time for the kiss. Put some tongue into it. Oh, he did. Ew. Yes, thank you, that was good. I'm done now. I won't call you again. I'm in the movies. Dumbo? Who watches Dumbo? The actors still needed something on set to sell the scenes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Imagine petting a guy in a suit. Love you, buddy. Love you so much. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at you. You were just the cutest little thing. How do I put this thing down? Ugh. Ugh. Get it out of here. An actor and a stunt double in green suits stood in for baby Dumbo. <laughs> the guy in the green suit for baby Dumbo. Dumbo, you saved my mom. Thank you so, so much. He likes to be pet so he can feel it. Uh, You're such a good guy, Dumbo. Such a good guy. Can I take this off now? No. Can we have our actual No, we have to film this for about 230 more days. Six hours a day. I thought I was gonna be a real person in this movie. No. So you can tell your girlfriend that you're a blanket. You're a blanket <laughs> who's- ah. You're, ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Get that blob out. Imagine being ah. a blanket who makes 150K for being a blanket. That's Dumbo. Walking around on all fours using these stilts. Is that a- 
That's a child. Instead of making the genie character an entirely CGI creation, Will Smith got to fully embody him. Oh, and Will Smith like kind of did a good job. I mean, I know that we were all like making fun of him and stuff and like memeing him, but like he really did his best. <laughs> he really did. And like Robin Williams, that was like big shoes to fill. Impossible. Impossible, yeah, impossible. And it would be so nerve wracking to be casted in a Disney remake because I feel like everyone gets so mad no matter what you look like, no matter what your ethnicity is, whether you look exact, whether you look different, like everybody always has a problem. And poor Will Smith. <laughs> He had to, like, bear the brunt of it. The movie ended up having him in human form. He was way funnier in human form. Some parts of this sequence were shot at a slow motion 36 frames per second. Fun fact, this guy is from Toronto, and my voice teacher taught him how- Ow! I just hit myself in my hands with my ring. My voice teacher, who I went to, like, twice, but then stopped going because it was too far away, taught him how to sing for this. So cool. It could be a lie, but, like, why would she lie, you know? I just think it's so cool how they, like, casted a little Toronto guy. And he, he's just doing all the stunts and he was such a perfect Aladdin. Also, Jasmine is really beautiful too, so. I wasn't mad at this. I wish it wasn't done yet and so they could have casted me. I mean, I know I'm Asian, but like, come on. I could be Jasmine, you dye my hair black. And do the thing with it, give me a tiger. Could do a collab with the Tiger King guy. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Yes, Angelina Jolie being an absolute goddess. And you can't even tell it's a green screen in the background. She's just like, you can tell she's in it. She's feeling it, she's in character, she's flying around. The wings might as, see this is the part where I'd fart, but the wings might as well be attached. Wait, did she, she farted. She did. Well, I guess my dreams already been lived through. She gets all the best roles. Look at that with all the blue guys like pushing her around in the background. It's so cool. Oh, that would be the most fun. This device gives them mobility and allows them to twist a person around. It looks so real. And like the garments that they're wearing blow so perfect. The guy holding the fan. <laughs> Just making sure that their garments blow absolutely perfectly. Okay, how long did this take? Can I just Google it? How long did Maleficent? Oh, wait, is it Maleficent? Honestly, I've never seen it. Don't know anything about it. So please make fun of me as much as you need to. 2010? It got released in 2014. It took four years from start to finish. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, if I was her, I'd want to be that too. I would definitely be pushing. I'd be like, we need to set up the big gigantic thingy and the doodads for me to film on. I'm just an actress. I don't know all the words for everything. Make sure you film me on one of those picture takers. Put the picture taker on uh, that spider looking thing with legs. And we got a movie. We're really getting committed to this, hey? Yeah, hopefully it works. This is my dream. I've always wanted to do this. It sucks how you have to be like the craziest kind of actor to do this kind of stuff. I just want my one day in the sun. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna put it under the dress. Which means the rope will probably have to come up through the dress. Yeah, that'll look just great. All right, places everybody. Do we have our elephants? We have our elephant. Do we have our beast? Uh, he called in sick. Well, you can be the elephant. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, hold my hand for a sec. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Ah! Fine! Oof. How dare you come through my kingdom? I can't breathe! <laughs> I can't breathe in here because of your stench. Oh, those are my oh! arms. <laughs> okay. I think we got it. Please don't tell me that's going to make the final cut. Uh, yeah, no, it was perfect. The fear in your <laughs> eyes was all we needed. Oh, jeez. To fully embody the role of Beast, actor Dan Stevens wore a motion capture suit on stilts. Imagine dancing in stilts. Dancing in stilts and knowing that you're going to be completely covered up. That would suck. It'd be much better to be Emma Watson in this situation just because like you get to be you and you get to wear like the cool costumes. I heard that a lot of people got really mad at Emma Watson for like having her waist like really pushed in because she was corseted in this but like it's a period piece. If I was in this movie I'd be like yo give me the corset tight as tight as you can. I don't want to breathe. I want permanent organ damage. I want to look like I'm dying. I don't even want be pretty i just want to uh, you know that's what i need well guys that was uh, uh oh geez what, what's wrong with me today well that was uh live action remakes behind the scenes what it looks like without special effects i don't know i thought it was really cool i saw it on my front page and i was like i want to watch it on youtube with you guys and make some jokes and hopefully it's good content i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see me again make sure you hit push notifications and i will see you on the next one bye call me disney see ya